Hello and welcome to Featherlight Stories. One new story every Sunday and Thursday. This is episode two: The Cow and the Well. Sometimes farms are very large with several buildings. Barns, stables, grain silos, and of course the house in which the farmer's family lives. Sometimes farms are very small. A poor old farmer lived by himself on such a little farm at the edge of a small village. All the farmers in his village and those that lived in the villages nearby had plenty of goats, chickens, pigs, and or cows. All this poor farmer had was one old cow. She used to be the strongest and most beautiful cow in the valley, with shiny brown hair and curved, pointy horns. She used to carry a large silver bell, but the farmer had to sell that bell years earlier, and by now the cow was too old and frail. To wear such a heavy thing around her neck, so the farmer had given her a smaller, cheaper tin bell, which she still wore with pride. It had her name graved on it, Alma. Alma was too old to give the farmer any milk, too old to help him carry the vegetables he sold on the market. And too old to pull the plow he used to turn the soil of his small patch of land, on which he grew those vegetables. On one corner of his farmland, the farmer had left grass grow tall for Alma to enjoy her retirement. She lived there now between four fences around a large tree that let her lie in its shade during the hotter days and that gave her shelter on the rainy ones. Everyone in the village told the poor farmer to end her life. She no longer had any purpose. Alma couldn't work, and she didn't give any milk. The farmer still had to feed her, and would he not be better off spending what little he had on himself and on his crops, his beans, salads, and radishes? But the farmer didn't want to hear it. Alma had always worked for him. Now it was his time to work for her. Besides, she still provided manure which he could use to fertilize his little field. While the farmer tended to his crops, Alma wasn't always alone. An owl lived in the tree that stood on her enclosure. During the day, the owl would sleep in a hole in the tree's trunk, but Alma seemed to be aware of the bird's presence and often looked up at that hole. During the nights, it was the owl who kept an eye on the old cow below. Alma enjoyed the silence that came with living at the edge of the village. She didn't like loud noises, and the only sound the farmer made was when he played his violin, which he did at every sunset. He would stand in front of a tombstone under Alma's large tree. Being a cow, she couldn't understand why the farmer had been so sad for so long, but she could feel his grief and. Softly mooed while he played his instrument. There came a time when the village started a new tradition. During the cold winter night of the year's final day, the sky would suddenly light up, and loud bangs could have made anyone believe it was the sound of cannons announcing the start of a new war. There was no war going on. People in the village were celebrating. Everyone was enjoying the fireworks. 
except for the farmer who woke up in his bed, except for the owl who woke up in the tree trunk hole, and except for Alma who jumped up and started running across her plot terrified of the loud noises. In the dark, she couldn't see anything in front of her. The poor unfortunate old cow, under the owl's watchful eyes, stumbled into the well that had been dug in a corner of the grass field so that the farmer didn't have to carry buckets of water for her to drink from. The well was deep and Alma fell all the way to its bottom. The next morning, the farmer stepped out of his house only to see that his cow was not lying under the tree as she normally did. She wasn't anywhere to be seen. The farmer started calling out for her, but she didn't answer. Deeply worried, the farmer went back inside to come out again with his violin resting on one of his shoulders. He started playing. And barely had he begun, did he hear Alma's mooing echo from inside the well. He ran towards it and looked down. She was standing in the shallow water, many meters below him. What happened to you, my dear Alma? The farmer asked while he looked around him. There was no ladder long enough to reach the well's bottom. He had robes strong enough to lift her, but not even in his younger days when he had been so strong could he have carried an animal her size. The farmer gathered some of his neighbors who came to see if they could help him. The well is too deep to climb down, one said. The sides are too slippery to get a grip on, another one added. And even if you manage to get a rope around her waist, she wouldn't survive the way up, said a third one. The old farmer threw an apple into the well on which Alma immediately began chewing. Best if you just put her out of her misery. Right, there's nothing you can do for her anymore now. We can help you bury her if you want. The old farmer looked at his cow as she swallowed the last bits of apple. I'm sorry, Alma, he said. The four men started to dig up soil around the well and began throwing it inside. Alma felt the dirt fall on her back and she shook it off. She did that every time soil rained down on her and then trampled it with her hooves. After some time, the water around her had become a solid floor, and as the men around the well kept shoving more soil into the well, she slowly started to rise up towards them. Look, the old farmer said, she is such a smart cow, she's going to be fine, she's going to come all the way up. The other farmers saw it too and continued to pour more soil into the well, now aiming it at Alma's hooves where she stamped on it little by little, working her way up to her freedom. It was almost dark by the time she reached the top of the well and the old farmer's neighbors went back to their homes when the two were reunited. She lied down exhausted under her tree, where she fell asleep as the owl, who had just come out of the trunk hole, was looking down on her.